Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a Korean YouTuber that is trying to do a year long no buy. And today I am again in my mission to trying to use my collection more. And I have had a little series here on my YouTube where I do looks with the seven spring palettes that I've picked in my collection. And today I'm going to play with two of them. I want to play with my two pestles palettes. So it's Pestle Pop and Creepy Cute from Shroud. Uh, Pestle Pop is from Menagerie. And uh, the Pestle Pop looks like. I don't like this opening. <laughs> Always like getting. I don't like palettes that open like a book. So this is Pestle Pop. So it's a lot of shades and. Uh, a lot of different shades yeah i don't know what more to say and the creepy cute if you haven't seen it it looks like this so i'm going to do a look with these two i actually know what i want to do i hope that it will be good i am not like 100 percent sure but we will try the look I'm going to do, I'm going to do two different eyes. So I'm going to do one greenish eye and one orange eye. And I do really hope that this will work. There is some difference. This from Nodri isn't as pigmented as Creepy Cute. Oh my god, it was hard to speak today. Um, but I'm going to start with the Nodri one. And I'm going to do this eye green and this eye orange. So I'm going to take a flipper in my crease on this one and fishy on this one. So I will try to use the same brushes for everything. Maybe that's not possible. Switch over to these two. Are you the same? No? Oh, it starts great. Okay. Use different brushes, and I. If you're going to buy one of these palettes, I do. I do think they are both good. I think the one from Shroud Creepy Cute is better. Like, it's better pigments. It's easier to work with. But I do like the from Nardi as well because it's more colors in this one. Now I have hair somewhere and I actually this time think it's mine the one other thing I don't know if you're going to see this but it's so much fallout in Minardi shades so fallouts kick up I never know what to say they're very like powdery but they work good, but just so you know. And then I'm going to take Fishy, this one, and crease on my other one. <laughs> on my other one. On the other eye. And what I can remember, I don't think this is... It's like so visible on me. And I feel like if it's not visible on my... On my... On my pale skin... I don't know how it is on others. But if I try to pack this on quite a lot maybe you can at least see it a little bit I can see something but I don't know if you can see something maybe just a little bit hint of color and then we'll continue on the green eye first and then I'm going to take Ice worm, and then on this side, I'm going to take snack. This neck is a little bit more of a pinkish thing, but um, just how see how it will go. So now I'm taking the green one, ice worm. Oh. This is a little bit like bluish. And it's now I'm starting to questioning my choices. But 
that we are questioning my choices quite often. Yes, I do. Does it usually look okay? Yes, it does. This is a little bit more bluish. Maybe I should have taken this in my crease. No. Looks kind of minty. And then I'm taking the snack one a little bit more. Pinky thread leaning on this side. Okay, this looks really, really pink. And I don't know if it has to do with the more orange in my crease. But to my defense, I did actually swatch these before. And I was like, yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> okay, and then for the last color, maybe this one is the one that I am most unsure about. On this eye, I'm going to take a hint. I think Creep It Real would look really good, but I do want to take take a hint just because I do love this one. And on this eye, I'm going to take Third Eye. I think that Strawberry Milk would look really good as well, but I want to take Third Eye. So I'm starting with the Take a Hint on my greenish bluish eye. And this this color is so, so cool. I did a halo eye with this one and the black one from this. Creepy cute. And that was an amazing halo. Okay, even though I didn't thought that these two on my lid was going to go super good together, I think it does look cool. And I'm going to take the orange from the creepy cute third eye. I do really look like a little, <laughs> not a snack, but it looks like I have candies on my eyes. And I think that that was maybe the look that I was going for. This looks so cute. I'm actually so happy about it. So I will do my base and I think that I will switch the under eyes. When I do two different eyes, sometimes I switch, sometimes I don't. But I actually think it will look really, really good. Maybe I will take the orange that I had in here under this eye and the green under this eye. I will see. So I will fix the face and the under eyes and then I come back. I... <laughs> Love this look. So for my wash line, I did use this from LA Girl that is screaming. I think it goes good with both eyes. And on my cheeks, I have used Ombra. Also an as a highlighter, both from Nabla. And this cloud paint in a puff from Glossier. And I... I haven't used this before, like maybe one time, and then I have used it in a video that came up last week, I think, and then now, and I, I do really, really like this. I put it over my powdered face with a brush, and it looks really, really good, and I do really like this color. It's a fun, bright blush. And on my lips, I did take Kernel from Nabla, and yeah. I do really, really like this look. I think it's fun, it's bright, and yeah, I, I just really, really like it. So, uh, yeah, this is my look with a pastel pop and creepy cute. And I know that maybe it's not that popular anymore, but for a time it was really popular with pastel palettes. And I do really, really recommend the creepy cute, even though it doesn't have that many. It's not a big palette. It has six pastel palettes, but they are all amazing. They are so pigmented. I have had mine for I don't know how many years, but it's still amazing. I can recommend this so, so much. You can buy this as single as well. And also like the pastel pop. I like it, but this is more like a normal pastel palette. 
and it works really good for me that is this pale I don't know how it works for anybody with a deeper complexion but the one thing I like more with this it's it's more to choose from but I don't think these colors are as good as in the creepy cute but it's nothing wrong with it it is a good pastel palette but not the best <laughs> pastel palette I have so yeah this is my spring inspired look with these two palettes now I have only one palette left in my spring series which is good because it's soon summer and I have this little lethal palette that is called Memento it looks like this so that will be the next maybe not the next video I don't know we will see but yeah I am so happy that you seem to have liked these spring palettes videos because okay I'm not going to talk about this again but I have a hard time to come up with things to do so it makes me really happy when you seem to like what I put up and yeah that was all for this video if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye